the theme that I wanted to offer for tonight's meditation and our practice together is the theme of equanimity. Equanimity is always a wonderful practice. It's actually thought to be uh, the crown jewel of Buddhist practice. And there are so many different ways equanimity could be seen and practiced with. It's part of many different lists. It's part of the seven factors of awakening. It has the honorable position of being the last. Uh, it, it's one of the, um, so besides being an awakening factor, it also shows up on the stages of insight. It also shows up as, as a stage, as a state towards awakening, equanimity towards all that arises and passes away. It also, also shows up on the list of the four Brahma Viharas, the four heavenly abodes, the four practices, metta being the first one, which is the one we primarily invite the practice during the happy hour, metta being the first one, goodwill, friendliness, kindness, compassion being the second, vicarious joy being the third, and equanimity, again, the culmination, the honorable position of being the last and holding them all, equanimity being the fourth practice of the Brahma Vihara. So equanimity practice as a formal practice, as a part of Brahma Viharas, there's a particular way to engage with it. And I'll in, invite that tonight. And just to say, it's really important um, to consider that the um, practice of equanimity, um, it's not supposed to be aloofness. It's not supposed to be not caring. Many times people confuse or they confuse it with what it's called its near enemy. The near enemy of, of the, uh, this practice is something that masquerades as the practice. So, so the near enemy in this case is kind of aloofness or, or not caring. Um, so it masquerades as equanimity, but it's not equanimity. It's an enemy, but it's kind of so near to it. We sometimes miss it and we think, oh yeah, it's the real thing, but it's not. So what does equanimity feel like? So Again, we'll, we'll invite us to practice for ourselves. But a hint, a hint is that, hey, it's related to metta. It's related to loving kindness. It's related to warmth. It's related to compassion. It's related to vicarious joy. Ah, all of these have a warmth to them, right? Compassion has a sense of warmth and care. Metta, loving kindness has a sense of warmth and care. It's not, oh, I don't care, whatever, may you be well, may you be happy, right? It's, 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 there's a warmth, there's a caring, there's a sense of presence. So equanimity, even though there is a sense of calm, there's a sense of peace, there's a sense of equipoise, ah, of being with things just as they are. There is a sense of warmth, there's a sense of care. Because if one didn't care, one would check out and turn one's attention away completely. But there's a sense of care in holding presence, holding presence, and yet being unmoved, being stable. There's a sense of stability, not being knocked over, the feeling of equanimity when it arises. Yes, so much going on right now in the world and all the, um, what might happen? We don't know. We don't know. Nothing might happen. Something might happen. We don't know. And yet, if we have one, one perspective to evoke, is this bird's eye view of 
not just planet Earth and beyond, but historical time, historically, for all us human beings, events of significant, significant magnitude for nations, countries, people having arisen and passed away, that we are part of this ocean of humanity holding witness and this arc of humanity taking shape, each of us playing our part, serving, holding witness. And as Martin Luther King Jr. said, the arc of the moral universe is towards justice, and I add towards goodness and compassion. So we are a part of this, part of this waves of the ocean and acknowledging the waves have come many nations, many people has happened, will continue to happen. And can we hold witness with equanimity, with peace, to both support us, ourselves, and through our own equanimity and calm, can we offer support to others? Instead of being there, ah, the one that screams and runs around, can we be the one? that offers a calming, peacing energy and quality to others as a way of support.